Howdy, I'm Jason Lewis. You may recognize me from such internet films as Your Differential and You. How much is too much Lou? I don't know. Anyway, today we're gonna be working on the Jeep and specifically we're gonna be replacing the winch cable and the rope. Okay, this is Pinto, the helper. We're gonna go ahead and kick the ball for her. And let's dig in. So on the off chance that you don't follow me on social media, auto edits, Jason on Instagram, uh, you would know that I take part in this thing every year called the Power Stop Trail to SEMA, which is this insane trip that we go from Colorado to Las Vegas for the SEMA show and we wheel Moab, Sand Hollow, some pretty awesome stuff. This year, they ramped it up to 11 and we did some awesome things. We did Pritchett Canyon, really, really difficult trail. Um, one of those scary trails that I don't think I would have ever done on my own, but we did it with, well, Chris Miller's the kind of the, the lead guy on this, and we had Ian Johnson, Bleepin' Jeep, Matt from Busted Knuckle. We had some like celebrities on this year, and we really got after it. So, this is my worn Xeon 10S winch. Now, I went from using this winch, mostly being, th this piece of equipment was mostly peace of mind and I have rescued a few people. And then this trip, it became a mandatory extraction piece. On Pritchett Canyon, I went from pretty much never winching myself out of a situation to winching, I think, four times and even breaking my winch cable and this beautiful ah, Factor 55 Ultra Hook. Now, I wanna make it clear in this video that I am not saying that anything, any of these parts failed. Everything did exactly what they were designed to do. I broke this thing because at the top of one of the gnarly obstacles on Pritchett, I actually ran over the hook. It was attached to a winch point on a shackle on the ground and I drove over it and I was winching, I was releasing cable, but I went too fast. It just, the, the, the Jeep was, you know, being a manual, I kind of lurched forward and you could actually see right here where it actually pulled the cable so tight that it pulled the cable off and then it pulled the, the, the front clasp out of the front of this hook. So nothing failed. This broke because I, of driver error. So head on over to the Power Stop YouTube channel and watch the Trail to SEMA series. It's really good. Now today what we're gonna do is just replace the Warren Spidura synthetic rope here because I've been thrilled. It did its job, it was great. It winched me out of some gnarly situations. Um, I'm gonna do it with the exact same 100 foot length that came with basically the replacement rope that came with this thing. So it's a 100 foot length, it's the 3 8 inch rope. And I'll take this rope out and I went ahead and ordered, now <laughs> this is a bit of peer pressure, but it's actually a good thing. Um, instead of getting another Factor 55 hook, I went ahead and ordered the Warn Epic hook. Now, the weight rating on this is, is pretty great, but I'm gonna show you one thing that my buddy Fred Williams has been hounding me. He said, this is the hook he suggests I go with. He always kind of, you know, teased me for going with this one. I actually love the look of this thing. The functionality was pretty awesome. There's one reason, there's one big reason that I'll show you in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and get this install done. So first up, we got to get this rope off of the drum. Now you can see here, when you winch out in the wild, you don't always get to keep the rope even on the drum when you wind it back in. So this is going to be a trick to get this off of there even because it's just packed into this corner. Um, this is gonna be a challenge, but let's get it going. So first up, what we're gonna do, is put it on free spool and try to pull. Ugh. And as you can see, it's pretty much welded itself onto the drum there. So that means that first up, what we're gonna do is, hey Pinto, we're gonna kick the ball for Pinto again. Hey buddy, gotcha, come on, come on. All right, so what I'm gonna do first is we'll just, since putting it in free spool and pulling it didn't work, just you can just kind of see inside there that it is a mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and just try to winch out and see if that will actually release, okay? Got past. 
past that. Let's see if we can get that off of there. Okay. Hey, Pinto, make yourself useful. You want to pull this thing? Oh, I wish I could attach this to Pinto. Do something for a change. Pinto, come here. Not ball, pull the rope. Come on, do some good. Here, get it. Okay, run. No? <laughs> so now I'm unplugging the controller, and anytime you're gonna have your fingers down working on the drum, it's a good idea just to disconnect the battery in case things all, you know, wanna go all maximum overdrive and try to like just turn on and take over the planet while you got your fingers in there. So we'll do that. Okay, battery's safe. Now let's get in here. Now the one tricky thing, so now we know that our winch is safe. It's not gonna try to attack us at any time. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. There we go. So now what you want? To accomplish with this is just to get this little clevis out of there. This is this hard getting out of here? I have a feeling it's gonna suck getting back in. All right, so the whole point of that exercise was to get this clevis out, and then now we can pull. <laughs> Smacks you in the face, but you get it. Now, so this is what you get when you order the replacement rope, the 3 8 inch replacement rope. So you get a brand new rope, obviously. That's pretty cool. Now the quick tour is, this is the rope eyelet, the heat sleeve, your actual rope, and then your hook eyelet right here. So that's the basic components here. You're gonna to wanna to put your abrasion shield on now because once you get your rope in place, this doesn't go on over this thing. You will be bummed and this thing is key. So we'll go ahead and get that on and then we'll slide that down. This will eventually lead, live all the way down here. So for now, let's get our hook, our rope eyelet in position here and we'll go and feed that through that way. Do I need to kick the ball again? Is that what this is for? All right, come on. Good girl, come on. We gotta finish this up, losing light. So you're gonna wanna go in through the fair lead and I'm going to go ahead and turn the drum so I can get my wires pointing this way. I can see them out the back there. There we go. Now, now I have my wires pointing this way and I can see the rope starting to come through here. All right, now I'm gonna just pull on my wire and technically this should just work. Kind of just like, kind of just like that. I was ready for a fight. I was really ready for a battle. That came right through. Huh. Well, on days like this, just appreciate that. So now you can see this guy is through. Well, that went way easier than I anticipated. I remember the first time with the, the zip tie being a little bit more of a wrestle, but boy, I tell you. And so then we have our new wedge here, and that goes just like this. I'm sure you can't see with my fat fingers in the way, but it goes in just like that. 
And then we'll go ahead and pull that tight because you want this to be smooth. You don't want this to be a lump there. So what I'm going to do is pull that tight. Let's flip this drum around and get a good couple of pulls on it. I'm going to help this a little bit by going to lock that down, give it a few taps. There you go. Nice and flush. That will not stick out at all. Perfect. Okay, now for this important first wrap. Now that we're done sticking our fingers in here, I'm gonna go ahead and hook the, this thing back up to the battery. So now everything's buttoned up up there. We're gonna actually need to use the winch now, so we'll go ahead and reattach the negative on the battery here. I have a quick teaser or tip for what's coming up next. When I was at SEMA this year, I found Optima. Now you guys, if you haven't watched, go watch where I install this Optima yellow top battery in here and show you why the yellow top is what you want in your Jeep. I keep seeing people on social media going, oh, the red top died or my battery died when I was winching. Well, that's because that's the wrong battery for a Jeep application. You want a deep cycle. So the exciting news is that Optima just came out with a flat cell. Now these are the spiral cells. They look like a six pack. They came out with a flat cell and I scored one for the Jeep. So I'm gonna install one in here and it's a drop-in installation for these things. There's no adapters, no nothing. It is exact fit for this thing. So that'll be kind of a cool thing coming up. All right, winch is back in business. Let's go wind that thing up. So to put some tension on this line, we're gonna go ahead and put the hook on. So the hook will just go on, put your hook eyelet through and that goes through, you put cotter key in, and then now that you have your hook attached to your cable, we gotta find something to hook this to. Oh hey, there's this awesome ram over there. Let's go hook it up to that. You always wanna make sure that you hook so that the open is facing here. There we go. We'll use the truck as an anchor and the Jeep over there. And we'll just pull the Jeep to the truck to put that tension on. Let me show you how. Here's this little abrasive shield, which is key. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide that on down. All right, so I got the winch controller plugged back in. Got our winch line laid out and attached to the truck over there. Got Pinto right here ready to help. Come on in, get in. There you go. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hop in the Jeep here. And we'll back it up until the rim, the winch rope is tight. But not too tight. And bingo. Winch rope is tight. I'll go and run you through that. Now what I'm gonna do to put a little bit of tension, but not too much, since this is kind of flat with a little bit of undulation to it, what I'm gonna do is just pull the parking brake up so that there's just a little bit of drag. One more click like that. And that will put the drag that I want to keep that tension on the heat shield section on that first 10 wraps on the drum. Let's go do that. You're gonna hang back there. Pinto's gonna hang back there. You gonna hang back there or you wanna come out? Huh? Huh, Pinto? Okay, you hang there. Wow, I feel official. Now everything's looking good. Let's winch in. putting a very nice tight wrap 
of that first of this first heat shield on the drum. So the wrap is going perfect. So we have the wrap that the first pass all the way across nice and tight. That seems to get that first layer down. I think we could do the rest of it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook it from the truck. So now I have that good base down there. I could pretty much just wrap the rest of this thing with a normal amount of tension and make it look good. I want to keep an eye on where the hook's at because you definitely don't want, like I mentioned earlier, to get your fingers trapped and sucked into that drum because it'll just probably pull them right off. That's a bad thing. Here we are towards the end. Now is when you use the hand, the finger strap this way. This little guy is designed to make sure that you don't have your fingers hooked anywhere as you approach the drum with your, with your hook and your winch cable. So that way you have a safe and that is it. That looks pretty darn good. Now we'll get that dressed up and ready for travel. Hey buddy, thanks for your help. You wanna come back out? Let's come back out. All right. So here we go. So we have our rope on the spool. We have the tension on the drum correct. It looks great. We have our epic hook here for the 3 8 inch eyelet and our strap for, sh for safety and for awesome. Look at that. <laughs> now for that final thing I was telling you about. My buddy Fred, one of my main mentors in off-roading and getting, you know, kind of the knowledge and why I have a worn winch to begin with. You know, he kind of teased me about having this hook because it, you know, it does, it looks amazing and it, the way it like travels and sits right up flush against here is really cool. But here's the, the, the main thing that he was saying. He says that the, the mouth on this thing is just too small. So say you have a tree saver and you have a couple of big straps you need to get in there. The Warren Epic winch has a huge uh, mouth area or hook area. And so that makes that very easy and it makes you, it makes it easier to have uh, hookups out in the field. And yes, I know that the ultra hook can fit larger straps with an added shackle, but Fred's point is what if you don't have one? Plus the cost difference is pretty vast with the factor 55 coming in around $250 and the worn Epic hook at about 60 bucks. So I'm going to try out the keep it simple solution for the next few trips and we'll let you know how it goes. Oh, okay. I'm going to button this thing up and kick the soccer ball for Pinto a few more times. Until next time, enjoy your drive. Ooh, lots to come. See you next time.